today let's take up the topic valuation of goodwill and uh, let's see how to compute the goodwill using the uh, super profits method first now um, first of all let me put down the steps for um, the calculation of goodwill as per the super profits method after that we will take up a small example okay now first of all the first step is uh, the normal profit right okay. this normal profit will be equal to the capital employed into the normal rate of return divided by 100 right so you will have to calculate the normal profit and then you will have to calculate the actual profits right so what is the actual profits actual profit will be the average profit of the last few years whatever is given in the question fine then you calculate the super profit the super profit will be equal to the actual profit minus the normal profit right and once you calculate the super profit then the number of years purchase uh, would be given so you will have to calculate according to the number of years purchase okay now let's take up a small uh, example supposing I have a question like this the capital employed of a firm of partnership was rupees 40,000 on December 31st 2005 and the profits earned by the similar businesses is 15 percent this is the normal rate of return right okay now the firm earned the following profits in the last five years right and this is given as 2001 it is 5 lakh 2002 it's 6 lakhs 2003 it is uh, 7 lakhs 2004 is given as 8 lakhs and 2005 is 9 lakhs right okay now the question is calculate the goodwill on the basis of three years purchase of super profits okay okay now the capital employed of a firm is given as 40,000 and the normal rate of return is given as 15% and then the profits of the 5 years is given to you right. Now let us look at this. <clears throat> now first of all uh, I will calculate the average profit right whether you calculate the average profit first or normal profit uh, uh, you can do anything right so let let me put it uh, as like this average profit will be equal to this is the profit of 2001 till 2005 so uh, 5 lakh plus 6 lakh plus 7 lakh plus 8 lakh plus 9 lakh 
so this comes to 35 lakhs right so this will be 35 lakhs divided by 5 that will be equal to 7 lakhs right so your average profit is equal to 7 lakhs right okay now let's find out the normal profit the normal profit I showed you the formula here capital employed into normal rate of return divided by 100 right so here the capital employed is 40,000 it's actually uh, sorry I put it as 40,000 it's not 40,000 it's 40 lakhs I'll uh, rewrite that this is 40 lakhs right okay right now the normal profit will be 40 lakh into 15 divided by 100 right so this comes to 40 lakh into 15 divided by 100 will come to rupees 6 lakhs okay so this normal profit is 6 lakhs right so now I have to calculate the super profit the super profit will be the actual profit minus the normal profit right so that comes to uh, this average uh, profit that we have written here this one this this is your actual profit this is called the actual average profit or we just call it as the actual profits right so now this is 7 lakh minus 6 lakhs so the super profits are 1 lakh ok so now the goodwill will be calculated goodwill is to be calculated on 3 years purchase of super profits here right so goodwill will be equal to 3 into 1 lakh which will be equal to 3 lakh rupees ok so this is how you calculate the goodwill using super profits now the next thing the next method for calculating the goodwill is called the capitalization method Now, under the capitalization method, you have to calculate the average profits, right? And then the next step is you have to calculate the capitalized value of these profits. Now, the formula for that is average profit into 100 divided by the normal rate. okay then after that we have to calculate the capital employed or you can say the net assets by deducting the outside liabilities from the total assets right Okay, then you have to deduct the net assets from the total capitalized value of average profits to find out the goodwill. These are the steps which is involved in the capitalization method, right? 
Now supposing I have a question in which uh, the net assets of the firm is given as 4,20,000 right? and the normal rate of return is 15% uh, say. Now the profits for the 5 years are like this 70,000 then 2002 is let's say 80,000 then 2003 it is uh, 90,000 then 2004 again it is 90,000 and 2005 uh, let's take it as 1,20,000 right now you have to find out the goodwill by the capitalization method okay let's see how to do this now, first of all, the net assets is given to you as 4,20,000, right? Now, you find out the average profits. The average profits will be the uh, 70,000 plus 80,000 plus 90 plus 90 plus 1,20,000 divided by 5, right? So, that comes to... Uh, the total of the 5 years profit comes to 4,50,000 divided by 5 that will be equal to 90,000 ok ok now you find out the capitalized value capitalized value will be the average profits that is 4 lakh uh, that is sorry 90,000 is your average profit 90,000 into 100 divided by the normal rate of return that is 15% Okay, so this comes to 90,000 into 100 divided by 15 comes to 6 lakhs, right? Okay, now after that, now you will calculate the goodwill. Goodwill will be equal to the capitalized value of the average profits minus the net assets right so the capitalized value of the average profit is coming as 6 lakhs minus the net asset we started with 4 lakh 20 thousand so this becomes 1 lakh 80 thousand so this is the value of the goodwill under the capitalization method this is basically capitalization of average profits right so you have two things in capitalization also capitalization of average profits and super profits so what we have done here is the capitalization of the average profits okay so with that i come to the end of today's session thank you